all YouTubers. Right, I finally got a new toy. That's a Harrison M300 lathe, which I've picked up. And I'm just trying to um, figure out the best way of getting it in the shed. We pushed it, I've got a bit of a slope there, look. And we pushed it up the hill with my quad bike. And that worked out quite well. Strip it all down and clean it and repaint it. Take the uh, cross slide and everything off, and the gearbox, this gearbox apart, and everything, and make sure everything's okay. If everything feels fine, this handle is a little bit sloppy and loose, but um, just strip it down and I might see if I can find a new one of these plates because that's a bit mangled. But apart from that, she's, she's a good one. So, right, got to get it in there somehow. I got this bit of a slope, so right. This will be an ongoing project for a while, so see you a bit later. Cheers for now. All right, this is just for my own reference. This is the cut-off switch. It goes to that. It comes down here. It goes to earth goes to this red wire here which then goes to that contactor and goes to that contactor for whatever that's worth this is that's the main motor wire goes up there into that block there from that block there goes up there in into there so that's the main motor wire and it comes off the back of that and goes into this contactor right very messy isn't it Right, welcome back again. Done a uh, fair job of stripping it all down, clean it all off. Uh, don't think it's been cleaned in its lifetime. The amount of crap that was on it. <laughs> anyway, that's um, getting done. The electrics are a bit of a spaghetti. Uh, there you go, we'll sort that out. Uh, bits bits everywhere. Over there, on the bench. <gasps> oh. And then over here, I'm just cleaning off the um, tail stock. Just giving that a clean down, ready. And then we've got loads of bits in here. Just clean them off. That's the uh, controls for the cross, cross slide. That's the um, gearbox. That's all cleaned up. Stripped all these apart and cleaned them and what have you. Just waiting for a couple of bits. And then, uh, and then we'll start painting. So, there you go. Come back when the painting started. Cheers for now. Well, everybody, <coughs> um, just a little thing that um, maybe if somebody else is doing this, the rest restoration on one of these I might find uh, useful. <coughs> there was a part in, uh, I think it's lathes.co.uk about the Harrison lathe, and this um, uh, gear selector. If I can turn it round without dropping it. Um, this obviously, this isn't, I found out by the serial number, this is a 90, 1990 version. <coughs> and that gear selector drum is Delrin. And that's one of the ones that they say is um, plays up and warps and makes it difficult to change gear. What I've done is took it out. I marked on there 
which um, one went because they're all separate parts so it's difficult to see here but it's basically a drum in four pieces with grooves in it that that change shape so that they push these sideways to engage or disengage the gears and that warps and makes it difficult to change gear so what I've done is um, I've took took that out and smoothed the edges of all the um, the gear drums made it easier. Um, I think they do do a replacement part. The later ones are metal, um, but that's probably if you wanted to buy one. Stupid, stupid, stupid pound notes, I should think. Anyway, another thing <coughs> on the cross slide um, part with with the engager and um, the hand wheel and everything. That's the. Um, that's the lead screw engager for threading and um, this is a threading thing as well and there's this rubber <laughs> what's left of it this rubber that goes on here stops the oil coming out anyway I phoned up Harrison oh yes we do those 45 pound plus that yeah 45 pound I mean come on so I thought, hmm, I know I can do that. So I bought a pair of um, steering gaiters, universal steering gaiters. And they come with a nice little end, which I cut off. And that, guess what? Fits in there perfect. What can you say about that? Hmm. <laughs> pair of them seven pound delivered so Harrison I'm sorry but I don't think you'll be getting any more money off the people for that cheers for now on with the uh, restoration right here we are all ready for uh, undercoat got everything uh, cleaned and just rub the uh, the bottom down just to give it a keyway for the paint so took all the electrics out uh, that's all ready to uh, to have its undercoat so all right we'll give it a give it a coat and uh, see you in a bit cheers for now all right there's a couple of coats of primer Gone on quite well. I couldn't, can't make up my mind whether to do it blue or silver. I'm leaning towards silver now. So anyway, <laughs> I'll see shortly. See you back when it's whatever colour I've decided. Right, welcome back again. Well, as you can see, I decided to go for silver. <laughs> Alright, give the uh, electric board a hell of a clean up. Just got to add the wires and then tie those back. The wires that were in there, they were just eight times longer than they needed to be. So I've tied them all up and put them all back. So just refitting the motor now. So there you go. That's coming along nicely now. Soon be done. Cheers, see you in a bit. Right, hello everybody. Bit difficult to see. This is the um, gearbox that uh, does all the timing for the uh, threads. <coughs> well, the, the gearbox itself is fine. What the problem is, the, gear, the, the selector on the front wouldn't turn. And what I found out, I found the guys up at Harrison, spoke to uh, a couple of people, one of the engineers, who was very helpful. Um, basically, according to lathes.co.uk, they say there's a replacement part for these cams, which is what selects the gears. Well, that's rubbish. Uh, apparently, that's 
not so they've used these forever they're still using them um, it's just one of them things but what happens apparently when this bolts to the lathe there's a gap here on the top and what they do is they fill it with like a putty type solution um, and over time that can through cleaning and whatever that can get dislodged and it allows if you use coolant on the lathe the coolant all runs everywhere and it down into this gap and it goes into this gearbox well when I emptied it originally there was all sorts of gunk in there it was definitely wasn't oil well there was some oil but and what they say is the coolant has an effect on these plastic parts and it makes them swell very slightly and, and we are talking very very slightly and consequently what happens is the gears the gear selector arms which sit in these grooves stick and they can't rotate properly see there's a pin on the back of there if you can see it sorry about the light I'll try and get a there's a pin that rides in this groove and what happens over time as you can see it's rubbing and it's it's literally sticking and rubbing as it tries to go round because they swell very very slightly same with that one there you can see and that one there is rubbing and consequently because it goes through just a, a little cam gear down there which you can't see because the light's terrible sorry let me see if I can get that there you go it just goes on that little cam gear there's the corresponding one this is the shaft for it which is square and then that turns well that's a little gear to turn such a big thing with everything on it especially when these are swollen up which jams them all up so right then what I'm going to do I'm going to put them all back on here, put them in the lathe, get some sandpaper and very finely sand all these down so that it takes about a thou or so off, hopefully freeing that up. We'll see how it goes. Right, we'll, we'll be back when we're doing that. Cheers for now. Right, hi guys and ladies. Um, just about back together now. Just finishing off. Right, that um, cam gear that I was on about, what I did is, I did like I said, I put it in the lathe and I took about a third of a millimetre. That's all, what's that? Millimetres 40 thou, isn't it? Uh, so about five, six, about ten thou, about ten thou off the outside, complete outside of the um, plastic drums. Clean them all up, put it all back together, and it works perfect. So there you go. It worked better if it was turned in as well, but it all works um, works a hell of a lot better now. At least we can turn it round now. Only thing we've got to figure out now is what number means what. <laughs> so I'll have to do a scratch pass, pass put it on what I think. Uh, according to that and do a scratch pass and then measure it and then put the numbers to the corresponding pitch so there you go the only thing I've got left to do now is um, power it up but I can't do that yet because I haven't got any uh, four phase three phase sorry I tidied up the uh, junction box that was a right mess uh, there we go. So, I'll uh, see what I can do as regards power soon. What I'm going to do as well is I'm going to make some cross pieces of steel and make some great four inch metal rollers and put some big um, wheel bearings in them so that it will be permanently on rollers and then what I'll do is put some big bolts through that go down to the floor so that when I've got it in place I can push it into place on the rollers and then I just screw the bolts down 
so it bolts and takes the weight off the rollers uh, and then it's steady so there you go all done just got to be uh, powered up I'm looking forward to it now so all right there you go next one hopefully will be it uh, running cheers for now